I'm Jason Kovari from Cornell University, and I'm presenting the following lightning talk on a project that is not necessarily linked data itself, but has connections with the work being done by linked data entity providers and others in this community. I apologize that I am not able to attend synchronously and therefore cannot participate in Q&A. At the end of the presentation, a link is provided where one can gather more information, including stakeholder contacts. In case the closed captioning for this video is not sufficient, I am including a script in the speaker notes of the presentation slides, which will be posted following the conference. Folio is a library service platform based on microservices so that implementing institutions can determine the components of Folio that meet their needs. The tooling is developed by library staff, vendors, and developers employing an approach that leverages subject matter experts who are organized into special interest groups, or SIGs. The Metadata Management SIG, Resource Management SIG, Reporting SIG, and more. The SIGs define priorities and development requirements and then work with UX designers and backend developers to collaboratively build the applications that comprise Folio. At its core, Folio focuses on the hopes and dreams of library staff. This effort began from the ground up, and though development has been a bit slow, this is entirely due to the significant or massive scale of the effort, alongside the speed at which community-based projects must work. A number of institutions have now implemented Folio, including my own, Cornell University Library, that, who has implemented the Folio ERM, or Electronic Resource Management, and is scheduled for a full implementation of the platform to replace our Voyager system in July 2021. This presentation focuses on in-development work as of 2020, July 1st, by the colleagues listed on the slide. I am merely a representative of the group. As the recording of this video, the Entity Management Working Group, or EMWG, has not completed its work nor has the Metadata Management Special Interest Group, MMSIG, reviewed that work. For reference, the EMWG is a working group of the MMSIG. Our purpose in presenting this in-progress work during the LD4 conference is to encourage a dialogue of others engaged in similar activities. The EMWG is tasked to work in two primary areas. The first area of inquiry is to identify how traditional ILS-based authority management practices translate into the Folio environment. This scope derives from a desire to facilitate longstanding activities critical for data quality assurance that support library workflows and discovery environments. Meanwhile, libraries seek to support more services and functions around entities than what traditional ILSs have afforded. Folio both complicates and provides opportunity for this in that Folio is not MARC based. It has other data models already supported, such as its internal inventory data model, as well as ERM, and plans to support many more data models. The second area is visioning how Folio will handle entity-based data models, such as BibFrame. In these models, legacy straightforward record storage solutions and interactions become less clear. By designing an approach for Folio to manage entities, we are laying the groundwork to transition select workflows to models the community discusses as our future. We anticipate the following outputs from the group. The first output are use cases. As with all Folio development work, the EMWG began by identifying use cases for our work areas. These informed and are somewhat included in the JIRA issues discussed later. The second output is a vision document that outlines the motivation behind and necessary functionality of an entity's app in Folio. This document will include expected entity types critical for bibliographic description, a Folio focused argument for building a new application within Folio's environment, as well as functional requirements for that app alongside the interactions this app is expected to have with other applications. This will be posted to our wiki by the end of July 2020. The third output is a gap analysis that outlines components missing from Folio to meet the vision outlined in the aforementioned document. The fourth output 
our reporting requirements. Under the direction of the reporting SIG and in collaboration with other SIGs, Folio is developing community-based reports that supplement ad hoc data reporting needs. For more on these, please see documentation from the Folio reporting SIG. The EMWG plans to identify reporting requirements explicit to the use cases developed as part of this work. Finally, we plan to identify several short to medium term projects that can act as either steps towards accomplishing the outlined vision and or proofs of concept to explore methods of reaching these goals. Thus far, we have addressed the first three. Some work remains in draft as of 2020-0701, but is anticipated to be published, published in a publicly accessible space by the end of the month. Work on outputs four and five are anticipated to begin in the fall. Core to the vision outlined in the EMWG is the creation of an entities app that manage, manages agents, genres, subjects, works, and other entities, including those used internal to Folio that are currently reference data in the environment. These entities have data sources derived from both the library community, such as idwc.gov, as well as the likelihood of data sources not traditionally used in cataloging. While some of these sources may have endpoints, some may not. Accounting for a vast diversity of data sources will be crucial to meeting the needs of this group. Further, some of these sources may represent similar concepts. For instance, a work from OCLC and a work from Library of Congress and a work from ShareVDE and a work from Wikidata may all have aligned functional and usage expectations in library workflows, but each may employ different work models with different concepts of work. Having a path to address this heterogeneity will also be critical to the success of the work. This diagram, very much in draft form, demonstrates just a few applications within Folio, such as inventory, mark source record storage, data import, and more. The visual begins to speculate about how some of the data flows between those existing applications and the entities app. Please, do not take this diagram as definitive demonstration of how Folio will function with the Entities app, which still needs further discussion among the MMSIG as well as the Tech Council and others engaged in this work. There are publicly accessible JIRA issues, all in draft form, that attach to the EPIC linked at the bottom of the slide. Alternately, you can go directly to these features with the same URL base, but substituting the UX prod number at the range of 2516 to 2526, as listed in the screenshot above. These issues are a foundation for future discussion between developers, subject matter experts, and a future product owner. The work outlined entails first, storing and updating caches of entity data that are created and managed as external data sets such as Library of Congress Name Authority File, Getty Vocabularies, and more. Second, enhancing data for externally created entities, such as, but not limited to, adding preferred labels. Third, the creation, management, and publication of local entities. Fourth, managing updates to controlled headings within internal metadata records as external data sets change. Fifth, reporting on unmatched data and sixth, an entity lookup service within Folio that could facilitate metadata creation and additional functionalities not listed above. Since this is a lightning talk, much of the detail has remained relatively superficial. Please do not hesitate to review content on the EMWG wiki pages or within the JIRA issues themselves. The wiki also includes contact information for participants. As a community building an open source tool, we encourage engagement. Thank you.